So hello guys, welcome to this video where we break down a simple SQL injection exploit. So today we'll explain how an attacker can gain unauthorized access using a common vulnerability in login forms. So let's get started. So at first <coughs> we need to look at this URL part, okay? So yeah. This is our URL where we are gonna trying to uh, inject the SQL injection. So this is the URL of that login page. So we can see that in this case we are targeting a hospital management system login page running on Lopodos. So let's look out the website how it looks like. Okay, so here it is the website we are trying to uh, bypass the authentication and doing our SQL injection. So in the login page we can see that there are three types of login patient login doctor login and admin login and obviously we're trying for this admin login right and here yeah it's obviously gonna access for username and password for authentication but we neither have a username nor nor have password right so what we are gonna do so we are today we are gonna learn how to uh, do sql injection to bypass such kind of authentication right okay so let's move to our uh, code again yeah. so here uh, for that uh, bypass we need to craft a special payload that tricks the system and let us logging into uh, the system as an admin so our SQL injection payload will be like this right and everyone like uh, you may have question like how only this is gonna work out right so let's break it down and see how only this much small part of line or small part of code is gonna let us to bypass that login page okay so here <clears throat> here we can see that whenever a user tries to log in into a website the backend database uh, runs an SQL query to check if the uh, inter credential match any records in the database like this right we know that <clears throat> so a typical uh, SQL query for authentication obviously uh, looks like it's like select asterisk means uh, all you know and so from users that means select all from users where username will be like uh, the one username uh, entered into that username section and password means um, then obviously it's gonna check the password also like the one user entered in the password so so this query takes the username and password from the login form and searches for a matching user in the database. So now let's see what happens when an attacker manipulates the input to bypass the authentication. So suppose the hacker into the following payload like such type of payload, right? So what if uh, hackers <laughs> use such type of payload? What is gonna happen, right? So the uh, wait a second, hold on. So the first single code like this one <clears throat> so this one closes the original input string that means it's gonna be like this right so it's gonna uh, uh, close the original uh, input string like this one okay it will be like seen like this right then the or that means this part or one equals one okay only this part wait a second let me show you here okay um so this part okay so this part always evaluates to true and we know that this part that means double hyphen it is used for comments in SQL so it, it helps to ignore the rest of the query right so obviously this is gonna completely bypass the password because uh, one is one one equals one is always gonna true so the data, database uh, returns all the user right allowing the attacker to log in without knowing a valid username or a password so this forces the database to accept authentication requests regardless of the actual username and password and obviously as we said the double iphone like wait a second let me show you uh, so okay so this double iphone is will be like uh, here right so it's gonna uh, literally comment out all these things like and password equals password this query rest of the query so if it's gonna comment out the rest of the query it will be seen like this one isn't it so, so just look at this and we can say that <laughs> this is always gonna be true so what it's gonna do it will let us uh, bypass that authentication piece and uh, select all the user from that users right 
so uh, this uh, we can say that this effectively removes any remaining password checks that I mean like this hyphen double hyphen one and allowing us to bypass the bypass the authentication so now let's prepare our attack by crafting a request with this payload so we structure our data like how mm, why it will look like this okay so let's just uh, explain what's in it okay so as you can see that username in the username as we said we have to enter the payload and we already uh, discussed like what is due and how it's done so we have to uh, <coughs> enter the payload in the username that's why we are entering here payload and after that password we can just type any password or we can enter any password because obviously password is going to be the uh, one that is going to be commenting out and this submit login then it's like wait a second let me show you this one like you can see this login button so when we click here it's going to send our uh, data to the server so to check that confirm that you are uh, admin or not right so uh, this submit login is gonna uh, activate that submit button or we are say lo sorry login button okay so <clears throat> uh, next we use the python request module to send this malicious data to the server like from this one let's see how it happened okay so we created a season by using request module like from this okay so that's why we import the request module and we create a season from this uh, what will say? Uh, this line of code I will say okay so uh, <coughs> we created our season using this and th what it's gonna do is that it help us to stay connected to the website while sending multiple requests just like a regular user so that there won't be any error or issues with that okay so after uh, uh, sending multiple requests and logged in as a regular user trying to log in as a regular user then now we have to send our mal malicious data to the server right so how it's gonna done it's like from this one so this is how uh, we are gonna uh, send our malicious data to the server like uh, <clears throat> we send our login attempts using a post request like from this so if uh, the website is vulnerable then it will let us uh, login into the admin panel without needing a real password so let's see uh, le like let's suppose that we have successfully logged in into the uh, I mean uh, server then how we are gonna know like if it is successful or if it is failed so now let's check if our attack was successful so we analyze the response from the server to see if we have gained the access so how we are gonna do obviously it will be a if else condition like this one right so how this works then so here we check the response text for keywords like this dashboard because we know that if there is a admin panel then we there will be like words like a dashboard and admin panel so where what we are trying to do is that we are checking the response text that we will get from here right we are then we are trying to find this dashboard or admin panel words in that in this response right okay so if the if it if they appears that it means that our injection worked and we have successfully logged in as administrator so if we not then we need to modify our payload or the system is not vulnerable and it will show that like exploit failed trying modifying the payload okay so uh, <clears throat> what uh, let's and then let's see now what the uh, developers or the blue teams can do to uh, defend from such kind of uh, attacks like uh, SQL injection attacks so obviously they can what they can do is that implementing implementing like prepare statements or using parameterized queries and uh, they can also use proper input validation so such kind of activities can block SQL injection attempts right and yeah don't forget always sanitize user input also it is also required and necessary so yeah oh sorry my bad let's run it and see if it really works or not um, it's running right there and here exploit successful login as admin so here we can see that our code successfully run and we were in like uh, the admin panel and we can 
penetrate through that or we can bypass the authentication like this so yeah that's it for this tutorial so hope you find out this video helpful so make sure to like subscribe and follow for more tech contents like this see you